Man, nothing beats the feeling of being back in fucking business, bruh. Look at this build I just made. This is a stretch four. It is greening from half with no badges. We get it out the hood. And I got lock take, bruh. Like, this is the best stretch four build in the game. I'm getting contested shots. Duncan? Bro, this shit OP. And it's taller than my stretch four back in 2K20. I mean, 2K21 current gen. I'm thinking about 2K20 and shit, but come me so slap, bro. It's my first day back. And I'm already going through some pain. Why? Why does shit have to happen to me, man? All right, so we gonna get through this vid fairly quickly because I just want to get back into the park, into the neighborhood, but I had to upload today. So I'm gonna show you the stretch four build that I was using. Uh, obviously, this was before I actually made it, so there's no builds. But look, the position you want it to be is the power forward. That is, you know, it's a stretch four, my guy. You can't be a center and be a stretch four. That don't make sense. Now, I was gonna say the pacha. I'm so used to saying the pacha, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, the height, we're gonna leave it at 6'9. And you, for the weight, we're just gonna put it at 210. And you can already see the stats is looking kinda, kinda filthy. They're looking kinda filthy. But the only reason I do minimum wingspan is because I have not found a way to make this stretch four name pop up for any other wingspan. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I spent like two, two, three hours in the lab. I still couldn't get it. So, I mean, is it the best build regarding the power forward position and shooting? Yeah. Is it the best build when it comes to being a center? Uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I I don't know, but let's get into the attributes. Look, the driving layup, you want that at a 60, right? And your driving dunk at an 83 max. The reason I don't touch a uh, close shot is because 2K Labs confirmed that a 99 and 25 close shot don't really make a difference. So there's no reason to spend points there. Uh, the standing dunk, you want that at an 87. And we're not gonna touch post control, but moving on to the shooting, you want your mid-range shot at a 90, which is max. Um, that'll give you one badge. Uh, your three-point shot at 89. And your free throw, you want that at an 83. Um, I'm pretty sure that should give you around 25 badges. And it, it, that's enough badges to shoot, bro. It may be more than enough. You might want to switch it up if you want to, but you might not get the name. The pass accuracy, you want that at a 61. Uh, your ball handle, you want that at a 74. And your speed with ball, you also want at a 73. You'll get nine uh, playmaking badges. It's not a lot, but honestly, it's okay, it's all right. And for your defense, you want your interior D at 80, your perimeter D at an 80 as well. Uh, we're not gonna touch steel, we lose too many uh, potential points there. And your block, you want that at a 79. Yeah, uh, your offensive rebound at a 77. And your defensive rebound at a 77 as well. That should get you at least 10 badges. And I know that's not a lot compared to a lot of other power forward and center builds. But the thing with this one is that it has really great shooting and it has the name stretch four obviously which is i feel like this year there's not going to be a lot of people rocking that name but with the physicals we're just going to max out everything that's important leave everything like strength and uh vertical just alone and i think i'm just going to put the rest in vertical maybe huh yeah i'm just going to dump it into vert because i can't really put it into the rebounding or you don't get the stretch four name unfortunately but I am going to make a second build that has a different name. And it's just basically the better version of this one. Well, not really the better version, but more suited to be a center and a spot up at the same time. Uh, for the takeover, I chose extreme clamps and um, rim protector. I'm going to tell you why. Since you have only 10 defensive badges, what did it make sense to get two defensive takeovers? Like, you shoot lights out. You got an 89 three-point shot. You don't need fucking sharp tape. <laughs> like... You don't need it, bro. So I'm going double defensive uh, take this year. And there you go. We got the stretch four build. Shades of Pascal Siakam, Jaron Jackson Jr., and John Collins. That doesn't make any fucking sense to me besides Pascal. But the other two, I don't know how they stretch fours, to be honest. But let's get on to the second build, bro. All right, so we're going to switch it up a little bit. It's going to be almost the same build. This is a different variant. It's going to have a different name. If you like this name a little bit better, you might as well use it because it's a better build overall, in my opinion. But look, the weight is going to be 210 and the wingspan is going to be minimum again, right? The close shot, 
you still want that bitch at zero. Now, the driving dunk, you want that at an 83, just like last time. And your standing dunk, you want that at a 87, just like last time. <laughs> you get five badges. The same build, bro. It's the same build. The shooting, you want to max it out. 90 mid-range, 89 three-point shot. And the only difference here is your free throw is going to be 66. Now, you're only going to get 20 badge points. And honestly, you're chilling with that. You don't need more than that. Um, for your pass accuracy, you want it at 50. Uh, your ball handle at 74. And your speed with ball at 73. This will give you seven badges. That's two less than uh, the last one we had. I think it was nine. Uh, the interior D, you want at 84. Perimeter D, you want at 74. We not going to touch the steel. Your block, you want that at an 84. We're just maxing everything out here. Uh, your offensive rebound you want at 88 and same thing with your defensive rebound you want that 88 as well that will give you 17 badge points and for your physicals we just gonna max everything out that's important um you know speed acceleration and stamina obviously and that should be enough uh for 95 badge points uh yeah no <laughs> i'm just gonna put the rest in layup um and yeah that's the build it's a lot better than the last one you can choose whatever you want i'm gonna go with the uh I think we're gonna go with glass because last time we didn't have that option. I'm gonna do rim take just for the sake of having extra defense. You can do whatever you want. You can do sharp, shot creator. It don't really matter. But let's see what this game gave us. And here we go. We get the two way stretch glass cleaner. That is a long fucking name, bro. <laughs> like two way stretch glass cleaner? What the hell? But. Hey man, if y'all enjoyed the vid, make sure to hit that like, sub, comment, note at BDG's on the rise. We're doing daily uploads. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. Somebody needs to explain on why this dude is somehow beating me and he's pulling shots like this. Look what this man's about to do. Huh? Huh? See, Boogie starts fouling me, bro. Like, why am I in? Why am I in the trenches? I am in the ghetto, bro. I'm trying to get out Rookieville. I'm not trying to be here, bro. No more. He gonna bust this all over his face. Pause. Step back. Green. 14 and 15, baby. You can't stop it. I'm undefeated when it comes to this 1v1 court. Even with a stretch, bro. I don't need no type of dribbles on God. Ah, fuck. <laughs> bro, I'm going to cut that out the vid. I'm not going to lie. That shit's cut. Now, this dude, he has KD base, and he's hitting them. I'm down terrible. I'm not going to lie. I lose this fucking game. I'm done. Cut the vid.